Hey guys, welcome back to the Weekly Wheel. As always, I'm your host Cole, but this time we're joined today with Christian Potenza. That's what's up, and not only, not only is this my first interview here, this is my studio. Guys, we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm pretty stoked. So yeah, that's the pretty Infinity exciting. Forge presents. Awesome. I'm pretty stoked, man. This is the first, uh, the first of many, many interviews. It's uh, took us a while. Took us a while to set up, but we're here. We did it. And we're glad that we could be the first ones to do it here. What's up, Paul? So I'm sure all of you remember from our previous episode, we asked you to give us some questions to ask Christian himself. So let's get right into that then, yeah, shall we? Yeah, let's just go right into it. I mean, I don't know what I'll be able to answer, but let's just try it out. Yeah, all right. So, first of all, Diana asks... What's who, up, Diana? <laughs> who is your favorite character besides Jude, of course? A little more specific, Diana? Oh, uh... I guess this would be on 16. The show's oh, 16. on 16, because I was like, yeah, wow, my favorite mm -hmm. cartoon character of all time is Woody Woodpecker. No, I'm just, I'm joking. Oh, okay. That's what I grew up with. Um, my favorite character on 16, other than Jude, I don't know. I don't, like, main characters or, like, other characters? Diana didn't specify. She didn't specify, no. huh? She just asked who your favorite character was on 16. Um, I would I would have to say Ron Rentikoff. I would have to say that. That's he's played by uh, he's voiced by Jamie Watson, who also plays Coach Halder. And when we were recording the reunion, there was a scene where. Coach Halder and Ron Rentacop were talking at the same time. Now, usually, what happens when you do a cartoon, you know, when you do a pass in animation, you do just your lines. He was able to go back and forth cleanly, and it blew my mind. Both characters, and we all haven't done it since, um, oh my gosh, oh, like eight years or something like that. That makes sense. Is that right? Yeah, it was like eight years. That's a long time. Eight years, and this guy could just pull him off. Jamie Watson is like the voice of many, 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 many things. First time I ever noticed him was when the duck. Mm -hmm. That's Jamie Watson. It's also also the joy, the voice of Expedia. That's yeah, like everything. Jamie Watson is the king. The wow. king. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say run, maggots. That was a terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible um, thing, impression that I did, but there you have it. Awesome. Thanks, Diane. Uh, well, she has, so, yeah, she has some more questions, though. Oh, <laughs> so, Diane, you just <laughs> got greedy. Um, she asked if you ship Nikki and Jonesy. Ship them? So, like, ship them to see where? Them, see them as an actual couple, sort of thing. Nah. Nah, I never got that relationship. You know, it's just one of those high school, it reminded me of those high school things, those relationships where it's like, hey, will you be my girlfriend? And then maybe that's why they never worked out because I asked like that. But I just saw it as one of those. No, I never, uh, I mean, one of the most heartbreaking relationships was Jude and Star. Not Wyatt and Serena, Jude and Star. But I never shipped any of the. I never shipped them together. What do you mean? Like, would I ship them? Weren't they already shipped in the well, scripts? You personally, if you see it, because people have different opinions, so. Yeah. Nah. No, I think Jonesy is a very busy bee. He's a very girl crazy, male hetero character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I. She was way too good for him. He couldn't hold down a job. Yeah. How could he be, you know, yeah, getting fired in a committed the... relationship yeah. at 16? Mm -hmm. Sheesh. Uh, and then, is this another one from Diana? Yeah, but this is from Diana and Joseph. Who's Joseph? How did he hop in on this? <laughs> well, they both asked the same question. Do they um, know each other? Should I ship them? 
I would ship them. Maybe. What do you say? Diana and Joseph? Yeah, what's going on? Why don't you just tell us what's going on? <laughs> but anywho, they both ask, what was your favorite episode of 16? Oh. oh, okay. My my favorite one was when um, the uh, the phone rings and Jude picks it up and it's the girl from Australia. And he has a girl because Jude always fell in love with like inanimate objects like a chair, a talking chair. Um, he had a fish. He had a pet rock. Um, but I think that episode because of the puppets. When he's in the tent and he was doing he was doing everybody's voice <laughs> he was waiting for the phone to ring and he goes crazy he goes absolutely crazy and i remember being a teenager and just being so you know when you're a teenager you just got all those like hormones just pumping through you and you're just like ah and you just get these super high crushes and like heartbreaks are super low right mm -hmm. and i could really relate to that episode i remember being like you know 14, 15, 16, and just being like a roaring furnace, you know, just like, ah. And I could, I could relate to that episode. Plus, it was pretty funny to play a cartoon character because animation and voice act, like voice acting and animation is puppetry, right? Mm -hmm. So to do a puppet show within a cartoon, that was cool. And I think that was one of my favorite ones. All yeah. right, well, there you have it, Diana and Joseph. Thanks for the questions. Are they shipped? Will we ever find out about Diana and Joseph? Well, we'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>